Keeping a lot of animals can be quite rewarding, but it comes with an immense level of responsibility. You're not only taking care of, you know, one or two animals, you have an array of species that all have different care requirements it all needs some amount of your time. And with that being said, it is impeccably important that you constantly check on each and every animal. Sure, some of them are more secretive, some of them are more shy. And sure, some of your animals might be super outgoing and interactive. However, the point stays the same. You need to be able to manage the animals. You need to see that everybody's doing what they're meant to be doing, that they're eating, that they're alert, that they're bright-eyed, that they're defecating. Does the defecating look healthy? All that stuff is so important. And that's what today's video is all about, because I noticed something that doesn't seem right, and the vet visit with Dr. Alec Brown is in order. Over the last few weeks, I've noticed that my male Shinisaurus crocodilurus, the Chinese crocodile lizard, hasn't been coming out as much and hasn't really been eating as much than I'd like to be seen. That being said, he's always been the shyest of the three, and I had some level of confidence that, you know, he was probably just eating behind the scenes. I don't always tell him feed them superworms, silkworms, earthworms. Oftentimes I put quite a few adult crickets in there and I trust that he's been grabbing those and eating those. However, a few weeks went by with him not coming out to tongue feed and that grew my concern that something was up. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking him to go see Dr. Alec Brown and make sure that he's okay. So now it's time to catch him because that's gonna be the hardest part. Fortunately, this guy loves to hide in the cork tubes that are horizontally oriented along the back wall which makes it very difficult to find him. Once in a while, he comes out to bask, and when he's doing that, that is the opportune moment to catch him. And today is vet day, so wish me luck. Now is the fun part, because if I'm not careful, this guy's gonna scoot to the back underwater, and I won't be able to catch him again today without dismantling the whole tank. Steady, steady, easy does it, oh, 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 here he comes, here he comes, okay, oh my gosh, look how agile he is, see, okay, we got him pinned over here, oh boy, this is going to be harder than I thought, here little guy, come on, ah man, he is so fast, Oof, come on buddy. Trust me, this is for your own good. At this point, things are getting a little bit desperate here. He's making his way to the back, so I did have to kind of gently hold him by the tail and not risk him getting away. So we're just gonna lure him outside the enclosure and get him into a container. Happy lizard. It's okay, buddy. You're okay. All right. Let's uh, let's let's get the lid on here. I'm sorry to stress you out. All right, guys. So we've arrived at Campus Estates. So we're gonna see if this little man's doing okay. Uh, let's go inside. Hey, this is Dr. Alec Brown, just checking in with one of these Chinese crocodile lizards. We're gonna get him out of here and then try to get a weight on him. Hopefully he doesn't run off. We'll try to be faster than him. We can't put him in a Tupperware, maybe we'll just do that. Probably much easier. Oh, there's the fingers. <laughs> You just don't really try to bite while they're here. I think they're too nervous or cold. Maybe they respect it's you. Just... <laughs> Escaping. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Like 26 see, grams. He doesn't look particularly underweight. You can't see any hip bones poking out. The spine isn't poking out. He's kind of got the reverse cleavage that we usually see when they're a good weight or even when they're the opposite weight. Mm -hmm. If they're too heavy, wouldn't expect that for him. So... <laughs> Let's have a look at him. We'll start at the belly because it's the easiest when we're holding him like this. Like always, we'll be looking for any kind of abnormal red blotching. This is all just normal for his species, so we won't be alarmed. Sharp nails that have got me. Thank you. <laughs> and the swelling. Mouth feels okay. Sometimes we can see dental disease and they can get broken jaws, but it doesn't feel like that at all. Arms are strong. 
pretty tense coelom or abdomen wall here. So I can't feel a whole lot in there, which is one of the reasons the ultrasound is so helpful for these guys. Mm. Skinks would be another thing, especially those big blue tongue skinks. You can't feel anything on the physical mm -hmm. exam. You need to see in there. But all looks pretty good so far. This is an old tail thing. Yeah, is that right? I think yeah. it's a regenerated tail tip. He yeah. had that since I got him. But looks to be great. Uh, this eye looks clear. There's no real discharge. There's no swelling, no discoloration. Same thing with this eye, nothing going on there. When we look at his nose, his little holes, there's no discharge, no crusting around there, which is good. I oh, see that a lot. Angry. <laughs> Snakes and that kind of thing, when they have respiratory infections. Mm -hmm. So, so far so good. Probably the most important thing is to look inside of his mouth though. Mm -hmm. Because then we can see like the true mucous membranes that are difficult to see elsewhere in a lizard mm -hmm. than most reptiles. Sharp little teeth, he's got us. Just trying to look in his mouth. Sometimes if you close their eyes, they're hurting him and they just open their mouth. Do you want me to help with that or? No, we just have to give, give him some time most of the time. Okay. If we pull on it, then that can hurt them. Oh, I see. You're just trying to make him let go of the... Yeah. I think once he lets go of it, he'll open it and hold mm -hmm. it open again, given that he's a bit stressed right now. He's going token mode on us. Yeah. <laughs> Happens a lot with leopard geckos while they're here, actually. Really? Yep. They just don't like to be held like this. Mm -hmm. They like to do their own thing. Like a babe in a blanket. <laughs> method is not working for him. Never oh, know. never mind. <laughs> well, he's like, sometimes you can tease him. Got a little stubby neck. It's hard to grab this thing mm. here. There oh, go. there we go. So, black tongue tip, totally normal. A lot mm -hmm. of people worry about that and leopard geckos. Teeth are looking okay. I don't see any broken off. There's no splotching or asymmetry. If we have like a retrobulbar abscess, mm -hmm. we can see a swelling on either side there. There's nothing. If we look down here, you can see his little trachea. It's all closed up, which makes sense. But there's no discharge or discoloration or mucus around there. It's at the very base of his tongue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes see it poking out. Kind of like a snake, but it doesn't poke out all the way. So. Pretty good physical exam, no worries so far. Uh, I'd like to compare his weight to the last time. Mm -hmm. If he's uh, maintaining weight, then maybe he's just a bit nervous. And that's why he's not eating in front yeah. of Yeah. It's just so weird, like compared to usual. He always takes food, like he is the most nervous out of all of them. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but now like he will just not for weeks. Mm. So I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, we're definitely weighing. We've got him at 126, mm -hmm. probably every two weeks. <laughs> like a periscope. Very funny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Should get an so we'll bring it in here. I don't really use this for anything except reptiles. Just because it's like more abrasive or? Their skin is so thick, you have to like soften it almost. Hmm. That stuff. Versus with a dog, doesn't really, not necessary. So we're very zoomed out. Scales on the side, one is one centimeter. Same. We found our gallbladder, I think. <laughs> That's that black circle on the screen. Hmm. Black is usually liquid, or something close to liquid, very low density or just some other tissues. And there's a liver, just based on where it is mainly, and then you can see those vessels. And then most of this stuff we're seeing is like the gastrointestinal tract. And it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the fat pad on the left-hand side of the screen there that looked a lot like the liver. Hmm. On the left hand side? Yeah, it right? seems to be almost attached up there. So, like you're saying, this? Yeah. 
I imagine is the fat pack, given where it is, unless the liver is extending all the way mm. down there, which would be a bit strange. Certainly no follicles. That's good. <laughs> That's the right thing. Yeah, it's kind of that? Little, it's kind of what I would expect it to look like, but it's not in the, the right spot. Hmm. Really, there should be two of them. It's very helpful when we have like kittens and puppies inside, and then we want to know where the vessels are and how quickly they're beating. Mm -hmm. Because if the fetal heart rate's low for a puppy, then we need to go to surgery pretty soon. Right. This guy. Me. I didn't get any free fluids, no eggs. Mm -hmm. Don't bite me, please. I've only been bitten while doing an exam like two or three times. Or while intubating them a lot because they're kind of awake sometimes. Mm -hmm. They've got to mess around right inside their mouth. What bit you? Recently, a chameleon being intubated. Like a, the veiled? Yep, female veiled chameleon. Yep. I'm about to get big. Someone grab a stick before it. No, 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 no. Bearded Dragon 2 and then King Snakes often try. Oh, yeah. Over here. You heard it here, folks. Alec doesn't <laughs> get bitten regularly. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Any uh, closing remarks? Looks to be in pretty good health. I think most important here will be to see if he's gaining or losing weight. If mm -hmm. losing weight, I would definitely want to do something more. Probably blood work as the next step. See okay. if there's any evidence of kidney disease, liver disease, infection or inflammation, that sort of stuff. All right. If we're maintaining weight then, then I just give him some privacy maybe. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Dr. <laughs> Alec. Appreciate it very much. Absolutely, he's a great patient. Okay, buddy. It's time to go back into your enclosure. One of the females is just chilling over here. Glass frogs calling in the background. Wait till you meet those. They are amazing. Alright, buddy. Go ahead. Be free, handsome man. He's like, I am out of here. Where are you going, buddy? They'll figure it out. Okay, guys, so thankfully, fingers crossed, everything's okay with the male genesaurus, according to Dr. Alec Brown. I'm really hoping that's the case. We're gonna monitor his weight over the next few weeks and just make sure he's not losing weight, but you can never be too careful. Certainly not with an animal this rare, but any of your pets in general, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please keep this boy in your prayers and thoughts. Seems like things are okay. Maybe I was overthinking it, but we'll see. I will obviously keep you updated and let you know what's going on. So without further ado, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, for being a part of everything I do here. I really appreciate it so much. I can't wait to see you all for the next one. I'm sure it'll be a bit more positive, but there's always learning to be had regardless of that. And you know me, I'm an open book. I'm going to share everything. Awesome. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful week. If you want to see more content with me, click over here.